Dear students, Assalamu alaikum and many many good wishes. I am Amdati Kurahman, Asian Professor of English, Bandarbur Cantonment Public School and College. I would like to welcome all of my students to this online presentation in our previous class. We took discussion on the uses of the modifiers and uh, as a sequential part of that class, I would like to concentrate on determiners today. First of all, let us take a discussion on the definition of the determiners. Determiners are words placed in front of a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to. Sometimes we don't use determiners before the noun, we call these zero determiners. Dogs love biscuits here, just before dogs. We are not using any determiners. Different types of determiners are there. Students, uh, types and example predeterminers as what rather quite possessive my, your, his, her, its, our, their, x equals to ps means any noun equals to ps like rohims, korims, etc. Article a and the these three can be functional as a determiners, demonstrative, these, that, these, those, distributive, all, good, half, either, neither, each, every. These are the distributive and these can be functional as a determiners. And so number six, difference words, other, another can be functional as the determiners, quantifier, few, a few, fewer, little, a little, many, much, more, most, some, any, enough, a lot of, lots of, these are the quantifiers, graded quantifiers, many, much, more, most, few, fewer, fewest, little, less, least, these are the graded quantifier, and this can be functional as the determiner, question what, quiz what, who's, numbers, Cardinal and ordinal, cardinal one, two, three, ordinal first, second, third. These are also be functional as a what determiners? P determiners. Let let's uh, take a definition of the P determiners. P determiners are normally placed before an indefinite article and adjective and noun. Indefinite article plus adjective plus noun. There is a constructive pattern. Uh, we use that pattern for identifying predeterminers to express an opinion about the noun they modify just and what are used to express surprise or other emotion example what a lovely day here is student uh, is, an, is an article lovely is an adjective and what a day is a noun just before these phrase what is used as a predeterminer i have had such a good time today Okay, a good time, time noun, good adjective, an article. A uh, good time, just before this phrase, such, such is functional here, predeterminer. She has such a beautiful woman. Similarly, such is a predeterminer here. You can't imagine, pre modify the noun phrase with a predeterminer. An incredible meal I just ate. Okay, if we use what here, we get a very sensible sentence. That is why. What is a predeterminer here? Rather, quite are commenting words referring to the degree of the particular quality as expressed by the adjective that modifies the noun. That can express disappointment, pleasure, or other emotion depending on the on the adjective in question. In British English, rather is used as a predeterminer. In American English, it is only used as an adverb. The examples given below are British English. Example, it was quite a nice day, a nice day, and quite is functional here, predeterminer. He has had quite a bad accident, quite is predeterminer here. It is rather a small car, a small car, car noun, a small adjective, uh, article. Just before that one, rather, is functional here as a predeterminer. Students, let us take a look on the uses of the quantifiers. Quantifiers are adjectives and adjectival phrase that gives approximate or specific answer to the question how much and how many. Yes, certain quantifiers can be used with countable noun, friends, cups, people, etc. and others with uncountable noun, sugar, tea, money, etc. Other can be used with all types of nouns. Okay, There is a table types example and just before noun plus noun only with uncountable, a little, a bit of, a great deal of, a large amount of, with only with countable, a few, several, a, num a number of, a great number of, a large number of, plus noun. 
with all types of no, none, not, any, some, any, lot of, lots of, and plenty of. And just before noun, we can use these as a quantifier. For okay, example, what do you like taking some tea and a few cookies here? Tea is the head word and this tea is being modified by the quantifier sum. Similarly, cookies is the head word and this is being modified a few. I always put a little milk and some carrots in my soup. Okay, here milk is the head word and this milk is being modified by a little. And some carrots, carrots are being modified by some quantifier. He has several apples. Apples are being modified by the several quantifier. I don't have any fruit at all. Fruit are being, is being modified by any. Any is the quantifier here. She has plenty of cloths. Cloths. This is the head word and this is the word is being modified by the quantifier plenty of. I receive a large amount of feedback from my survey. Student place feedback. Just before feedback, a large amount of is functional as the quantifier. There are 25 people in the room. People is the head word. And this people is being modified by 25. I think this is very clear to all of you. Possessive determiners. Let, let's take a discussion on that one. Words like my, our, your, his, her, it, and these are known as possessive determiners. They come before nouns and indicate ownership of the noun in question as their name suggests. My legs hurt. Here, leg is being modified by possessive determiners. My Moise sold his house. House is being modified by the possessive determiner. His bring your book. Your is the determiner. Possessive determiners and book is books are being modified. These are our pencils. Pencil is the head word, and our is the predeterminers, and our is the pre modifier here. She took her cake. Cake is the head word, and cake is being modified by the Possessive determiners her and her is functional here P modifier student demonstrative the de demonstrative these that these those show where an object or a person in relation to the speaker these or these refer to an object to a person near to the speaker again these and those refer to an object to a person away from the speaker the house is very beautiful I want to know the person who owns Okay, students, the house is very beautiful. I want you to know the person who owns gap. Within bracket, we modify the noun with a determiner, house. Okay, whenever you are getting the word to modify the noun, definitely you will have to focus after the gap. What noun you are getting? You are getting house. And this house will be modified with a determiner, specifically with a demonstrative. If we use here, if we put here these and we can get a very sensible meaning. That's why we will use here these and these house here demonstrative. These pre modify the noun house. The house is very beautiful. I want to know the person who owns this house. I think this is very clear to all of you. Student here, well, I would like to finish here. And uh, within very short time, um, I will be again in front of you with another class. And uh, I would also like to express my heartfelt uh, thanks to all of you for watching this video. And I would like to suggest all of my students to concentrate on your own studies. Even it is high time for you to read more and more, to learn more and more. And let's pray to you, Almighty God for the safe and sound situation i do believe that within very short time we will be again in the same classroom in the same situation to continue our taxing together thanks many many thanks for watching this video